My name is Clayton Wellwood, and it's been close to a year since I've been leader of the BC Libertarian Party. I was elected at the convention that we had in October last year, and we've got our next annual meeting coming up uh, just in a few weeks here, one month exactly, on October 28th. That's the annual general meeting we're going to have it at SFU Harbor Centre downtown. And I just wanted to talk in this video a little bit about what we've been doing over the past year, what we hope to accomplish in the coming year or years, and why this annual general meeting coming up is very important in terms of setting that direction and uh, reviewing what we've done to date. So when I started out with, uh, with the leadership of the party uh, just a year ago, we had only a couple dozen members. Now we're closer to a couple of hundred, so the growth has been huge. We went uh, from running, you know, five, eight or so candidates each election cycle uh, for most of the election cycles. Our, our previous high water mark was uh, 17 candidates in 1996. And in May of this year, we managed to run 30 candidates, which is a huge leap forward in terms of our, our presence and our ability to make an impact in the BC political scene. So that's a, that's a great record for, uh, for the past year. Um, it hasn't been all my doing. I've had tons of support from a, a really great board of directors, some excellent candidates, really great volunteers. And now we've got a number of coordinators on board. So we've got uh, coordinator positions. So these are volunteer positions um, doing things like organizing membership and uh, constituency associations, uh, dealing with IT, dealing with campaign strategy, uh, dealing with outreach, uh, and dealing with policy as well, as well as planning events. So um, we've got a great group of coordinators on board. Uh, there's still some positions that haven't been filled. Um, the, the key ones being the um, volunteer coordinator. We can always use more volunteers and we need somebody to uh, to be reaching out to people to see if they're willing to do that and, and slot them into appropriate jobs. Um, we also need a fundraising coordinator because uh, a political party, um, you know, needs donations, uh, needs a, a funding base to survive. So we're still looking for those positions. We may create some other coordinator positions in the, in the future, perhaps a media coordinator, uh, because though we've gained a lot, uh, accomplished a lot in that area. We still need to do more in terms of uh, reaching out to the mainstream media and uh, raising our profile on social media. So uh, the AGM, I really hope that you can make it for that. Uh, I'm very excited about it, partly because we managed to get one of um, the people that I respect most in the Liberty Movement as our keynote speaker. His name's Robin Kerner. You may or may not have uh, Heard of him before, but I really think that in terms of thinking about how the libertarian movement and individual libertarian candidates and organizations can have a meaningful and broad impact, you know, beyond the small circle of uh, diehard libertarians, how do we reach out to people that have, uh, you know, might not identify as libertarian already or even identify as, uh, you know, as liberals or, or conservative or, or something else. So he's going to give a presentation on the art of political persuasion. Um, Robin Kerner has done some amazing stuff. He's, he was a guy who pulled together the largest coalition for um, Ron Paul's uh, presidential run back in 2012. The name of the uh, the movement, he called it Blue Republican. So in the States, uh, they've got their colors backwards when it comes to uh, the, the political affiliations. So for them, blue is uh, liberal and red is conservative. Who knows, those crazy Americans. So uh, so he managed to to kind of uh, reach out to, to liberals, um, you know, Democrat voters basically saying, you know, maybe they were voting Democrat or maybe they, they, they were not planning on voting for anybody. But what he said to them is, listen, for this election cycle, uh, I would like you to register as a Republican 
so that you can vote for Ron Paul in the primary and, and make him the uh, candidate for the Republican Party. And, and he articulated why this would be a great step forward for liberty. And he appealed directly to the, the values that those, uh, that those liberal voters held, you know, particularly you know, the anti-war anti side of things. Um, so he's going to be talking about the art of political persuasion. So that's going to end our AGM. Uh, prior to that, we're going to take care of all the business. So I really hope that if you're a BC Libertarian Party member or you're interested in, uh, in becoming one, that you will join us for the business part of it. Um, you know, I'm going to give a recap of what we've done during the year. So will our, our president. And um, we're going to have uh, the main part of the business uh, meeting is really to get your ideas on where we need to go in the coming year and coming years, particularly in terms of policy, but also in terms of strategy. Who should we be reaching out to? Who should we be forming alliances with? How do we get more people to join the, the party? How do we raise the profile of our message? Uh, I need ideas. Like, there's so much room for us to grow, but we need, we need the right ideas at the right time and the right people who are willing to work to make it happen. So, coming from